were too small, you couldn't get many chunks of ice in there. And I think probably those uh, Erie employees that harvest the ice lived in that house. I think it was built for them, yeah. Or uh, any other employees of the railroad that maybe had to lay over from a trip from Jersey City to Binghamton. They had to lay over at night, the engineers. And they maybe stayed down there, I don't know. But I had never heard that, but my daughter said she had heard that they, uh, the Erie Railroad built it and uh, used it for their employees to stay overnight. Old Weary Erie, yes. <laughs> I traveled on it when I came from Milwaukee to Rochester. And then uh, when I got to Calicoon and so on. So, uh, yeah, it was a slow boat. <laughs> Turn me train. It's called the Weary Erie. Yeah, old Weary Erie. No, I didn't even get a pillow because it was to, to rest or sleep. One of my jobs was to uh, go and meet the train. And, uh, you know, it was always finding who belonged to whom. Uh, and I would drive the station wagon over. I drove from the time I was 16, actually 15 and a half. But, uh, you know, that was, Pop had me practice a lot. And uh, so I, that was my job, to go to the station. And uh, I always enjoyed, I'd have a little patter. And I would enjoy bringing them across the bridge and explaining that now you were going from New York to Pennsylvania. And kind of, you know, people were like, whoa, isn't that special, you know. But, uh, and then you would show them around a little bit and uh, uh, explain uh, about the facilities and so forth. Um, the, the station was a very busy place, uh, generally, when the trains were coming and going. Um, uh, I used to go back and forth when I went to college, too. And uh, I loved going into the dining car and having a cup of coffee on the way home or something. Uh, and a lot of people came by train in those days. They didn't have cars or couldn't get the gasoline during bad times during the war or whatever. And uh, so the train was used a great deal. Uh, and that also was a change when, when the train stopped. People would come by car, but uh, it sort of began to be in decline then. <laughs>